we are in Alaska on an island, and today I caught a 25 pound king salmon. And that was pretty freaking awesome. So I'm broadcasting all the way today from Steamboat Bay in Alaska, just outside Ketchikan, an island in the middle of uh, middle of nowhere, literally. And we, we had to take a, a, an airplane to get here, and then an airplane that has you know floats on it to get here because we landed in the water. Joe Polish does things a little differently, which I happen to love. I mean, we're going fishing with all these different men, part of the uh, and and one one gal, uh, part of the Genius Network. And I'm here with Randy Garn from Scipio. And, but we're here with Joe Polish from the Genius Network. I'm gonna let Randy, cause you guys have known each other a long time. I'm gonna let Randy explain who Joe Polish is. Uh, Joe Polish is honestly one of the most awesome humans on the planet Earth because he's the biggest giver. And a lot of people in business don't understand the law of reciprocity as much as Joe Polish does. I've known him since 2000, I think in 2004, um, he started the Genius Network that I've been a part of, and it's just, it's been one of the best private invitation only clubs I've ever been a part of for CEOs and, and just amazing humans. All right, let's talk Thank about you. it, Joe. Yeah, what is the Genius Network that I am now feeling like I should be part of? Well, it's a tribe of tribal leaders. It's, a, it's just a place where. Uh, Wait a sec, that was good. A tribe of tribal <laughs> leaders. That's for the last right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I, I seek out people that are industry transformers that are either the very best in the world or one of the best in the world in their category. And I curate and facilitate amazing discussions on how to be a better entrepreneur. Tell us the Joe Polish story. Where did you come from? <laughs> well, I was, no. Uh, I came from a, a pretty hardcore background growing up. I mean, mother died when I was four, uh, moved every two years my entire childhood because my father was, you know, brokenhearted. Um, I had a lot of uh, physical, sexual, and mental abuse as a kid uh, that led to me being a drug addict. Uh, between the ages of 16 to 18 years old, uh, which now today also one of my passion projects, half my time is spent uh, not just on entrepreneurial activities, but on helping people that are struggling with uh, addiction. So one of my core missions is to change the global conversation about how people view and treat addicts with compassion instead of judgment and find the best uh, forms of treatment that have efficacy and share those with the world. And so my entrepreneurial endeavors uh, that I do at Genius Network, I think any problem in the world can be solved with the right Genius Network, not just business problems, but all kinds of global problems. And so I utilize Genius Network in order to solve a lot of issues. And one of my core issues uh, is the field of addiction uh, re recovery because it's, so, it's just done so wrong in the way we treat people. Now, that was sort of a little bit of a tangent, but where I came from is I... You know, once I got sober from uh, from literally being a drug addict, uh, I started a small carpet cleaning business, and I was struggling. I was dead broke. I didn't know what to do, but I didn't want to go work for somebody, and so I literally uh, learned marketing because I needed to eat. I needed to survive, and so I studied uh, immensely uh, about how do you actually sell something that nobody wants to buy. Somebody to go in somebody's home and clean carpets for five ninety five a room or. 1595 room unless they're just doing a very lousy job you will never see a coupon in any way shape or form with prices that low from a professional carpet cleaner yes i teach carpet cleaners how to market and advertise ethically without having to rely on bait and switch techniques in order to get business and so i just needed to take my marketing skills to a higher level because i was a good person i cared uh, i did a good job but i didn't know how to get people to hire me you know it, there's and i realized there's no relationship between being good and getting paid uh sometimes there is if you're if supply and demand is on your side but you could be the nicest most caring person in the world and that doesn't translate to people are going to to hire you uh, but there's a huge relationship between being good uh being a good marketer and getting paid and the way that i define find marketing is uh, it's storytelling you know think of selling as influence think of marketing as storytelling you know uh, selling is what you do when you're on the phone or face to face with somebody and marketing is what you do to get someone on the phone or face to face with you properly positioned so by the time they talk to you or one of your team members they're pre-interested pre-motivated pre-qualified and predisposed to do business with you and so I learned marketing to figure out how do I position myself so I don't have to sell my services based on price and I actually fell in love with this whole 
concept of like, wow, you could use words uh, to, to persuade people to want to hire you and, and think of you differently in advance. So I think of marketing as selling in advance. Well, yeah, now, Joe and I have known each other for a long time, but what I've learned from Joe is, just like he said, the better you market, the less you have to sell. And the better you serve, the less you have to sell. There's been so many times that I've been a part of the Genius Network. Like sometimes I'll get a call from Joe and I'll be like, Randy, I just met this guy. I know you can help him out. Or he'll meet somebody and he'll be like, dude, let me give you their phone number. He is relentlessly connecting people and helping them and driving value in relationships. Um, you know, Joe, where did you learn that from? Where, where did that, where did that come from? This is basically relationship currency, but yeah. Where yeah, you well, get totally. it? well, here's the thing. I would say me and Randy are very similar because uh, he's a very collaborative, very reciprocal person. And I'm that way too. Uh, I think in order to be not just a great marketer, but a value creation marketer, someone that is in the relationship business, not the transaction business, you have to have a certain level of empathy and, and, or a lot and care about people and you get a real joy or a real kick, even if you don't get paid for it, just by adding value to people, even if there's no money attached to it. And the funny thing is, is that life gives to the giver and takes from the taker. And I learned that early on, that the more collaborative that you are uh, and the more useful, I mean, in these, this is not like, earth shattering like sort of things that people wait a minute you said something that is earth shattering life yeah. gives to the giver and that is something that is yeah. so uh anti-intuitive i guess you might say because you know how can i give if i don't have anything well you can you can give of yourself you can give of something called kindness yeah um you can give of just being gracious and helpful to people that is more valuable to some than giving them money. Money, you can damage people giving them money. Right, yeah, money's only one way that people get paid. Like, I have a dear friend named Dan Sullivan who founded a company called Strategic Coach, and he's a dear friend. We do a podcast together, and he talks about there's five ways you can get paid. One way you get paid in business uh, is reward. People give you money. The second is they appreciate you. Another way is they refer you. Another way is they utilize you. And uh, a, a fifth way is it enhances you. It makes you a better person. So when I pursue relationships and business deals and stuff, I look at all of the different ways to get paid. You know, they say money can't buy happiness, but poverty can't buy shit. So, I mean, you know, the, <laughs> the, the bottom line is that you can, you can do a lot with money if you yes, use it in right. the right way, right. if you utilize it in the right way. Yeah. Uh, and people uh, that say money can't buy happiness, even if they are themselves are not happy, uh, you know, they've not given enough of it away because there's a lot of people that have been in real trouble that couldn't afford medical care, that had something happen to their children that didn't have the financial means and, and there's many things that I and others have been able to facilitate that have made them very happy because they were they were struggling. So money is a tool like anything else. Exactly. And, it, and it's how you use I do it. love my tools, I must say. But anyway, that's a whole other story. But, but, <laughs> well, but here's, yeah, it, it, yeah, with all your cars and all that. It, yeah. No, but 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 the, the thing is, you know, I've never woken up in the morning and hit an alarm clock and all piles of money were there because they'll say time is money. Well, it's relationships are money. Yeah. And so the, the stronger that you develop relationships, uh, that's where almost all business opportunities and, and progress are going to be made. It, you know, it's, it's through people. And so I tend to hang out with people like Randy because I like very collaborative people. And what we do with Genius Network is I really try to facilitate uh, a group of, of, of givers, not takers. And so one of the things that's very hard on the outside for people to understand about Genius Network is really seeing the, the, the massive amount of generosity uh, that comes from a lot of these people. And I do have very well-known, you know, famous entrepreneurs that are Genius Network members. I mean, it's known to be the highest level marketing group in the world. And I want to ask, so for those who want to be involved, can you be involved? You said a tribe of tribal leaders. Yeah, yeah. I Where mean, do they go? They go to GeniusNetwork.com and they fill out an application and we have a whole process. And if they meet a, a criteria, you know, they have to make at least a million dollars a year uh, in order to, to be a member of the group. Uh, and there's other criteria of yeah. where they add in their business. You know, we want people that have a you know, great reputation that knowingly, you know, I mean, we, we research them. I mean, we do, we do backgrounds, we do all kinds of stuff. And, and the beauty of it though, is that most of the members uh, that come into Genius Network are referred by other members. My philosophy is don't be a sage from the stage, be a guide on the side. How could I actually facilitate people that are real geniuses, that have capabilities, skills, methods, processes, and ways of going about building and growing a business 
that if you brought these people together and they all were collaborative and they all shared their very best stuff, then it would be helpful. So that's what Genius Network was. And I was only going to do it with 20 people and you know, $25,000 a person because that's what the fee is to be a Genius Network member. And so it became one of the my favorite things that I do. And, and it's funny, and this will sound weird, but I would even do it if I didn't get paid for it. But the challenge is if I didn't charge for it, it wouldn't work because if people don't pay, they don't pay attention. So the amount of investment that someone makes in Genius Network is just sort of the qualifier. The real emphasis right now is to help people build uh, a better entrepreneur. Just how do you become a better entrepreneur? And it's not just about building a better business. It's about being a better human. It's about taking a look at your health, taking a look at addictions. Like, are you a workaholic? Because workaholism is a respectable addiction. You know, are you getting enough sleep? You know, are you putting up with messes? And, you know, one of the things that successful entrepreneurs deal with are success traps. Because getting out of a success trap is harder than getting out of, of a failure trap. Because they're in things that may be making them a lot of money, but they don't see their kids in it they don't have happy marriages and it makes their life miserable. So we focus on building a better entrepreneur. And the way that I explain the marketing aspects of it is you can either have an elf business that does marketing that's easy, lucrative, and fun, or you can have a half business, which is hard, annoying, lame, and frustrating. Sometimes it could be hard, annoying, lucrative, and frustrating. <laughs> so when people come to Genius Network, we focus a lot on elf, you know, easy, lucrative, and fun. We focus on things like not learning, but unlearning like people are going to learn a ton when they come to genius network they're going to learn about the best conversion processes you're going to learn how to hire people they're going to learn how to you know do social media i mean there's there's a lot of stuff that they will learn but unlearning is more important than learning your not to do list is more important than your to do list uh, how you focus on you know one elegant idea is worth more than a thousand semi good ideas. So we focus on elegant ideas, elegant solutions, and we do it with other people that already have been there, done that. And when these people combine their skills, it's it's a group of unique ability achievers that creates an ever expanding community of growth and progress and hopefully happiness. And so there's lots of cool stuff that happens at Genius Network, but I just wanted the club that I wanted to belong to and I created it and people love it. Oh, we're talking to Joe Polish, Genius Network, here on an island where we're going to be for three days fishing, learning about life together, and enjoying each other's company. Um, entrepreneurs helping each other to be better entrepreneurs. It's Entrepreneur Weekly.